And welcome back to Hannity. And here is more of my exclusive interview with Clint Eastwood. Let me ask you, Hollywood does have this image of, of being left. You referred to it early on in your speech. You know, um, uh, they're all left wingers out there, left of Lenin, uh, which I thought was a pretty funny line. You mentioned <laughs> earlier some creative ideas. You know, Lear, I call them Learjet limousine liberals. They fly around in private jets and they lecture us about our SUVs. Uh, they, they keep talking about redistribution. But when you look at their tax return, I wonder how much money they're giving to charity, et cetera. Why, why is it never used to be this way? Why is Hollywood so left in your view? I don't know. I think uh, um, just the nature. I, I think coming off of uh, the uh, House on American Activities uh, act, uh, uh, actions in the early 50s, I think caused everybody to move to kind of a, a left position. Uh, I think most people, when they're young, are, are, are more idealistic. I know I was. Uh, you know, most people are, are much more liberal when they're when they're young and growing up, and then after a while, they realize that. Well, for me, it was because I found a lot of my liberal friends, who I uh, still uh, have great friendship with, but I, I found that they weren't that liberal. So I thought, wait a second, uh, maybe um, everybody, uh, maybe there's another uh, another way uh, to, to go. But Hollywood, there is a group of uh, people in Hollywood uh, that are conservative, but by the nature of the word itself, they're just reticent to speak out. Yeah. And, uh, and they're reticent because they feel that they'll uh, maybe lose work or they'll be chastised in some way uh, for having uh, political views. You, uh, I think maybe you had somebody on your program, uh, this uh, young lady that somebody was giving a hard time to, was threatening to not hire uh, because she uh, was coming out for Mitt Romney. And that, that kind of stuff is... Uh, is uh, is is inexcusable, uh, uh, but there are people that think that way. Yeah, that's Stacy uh, Dash, just, unfortunately, the actress. Yeah, um, yeah, is that? Yeah, well, I know a lot of people who'd love to hire her. <laughs> yeah, I, well, maybe she'll be in the next Clint Eastwood film. Let me just play for you because this is going to be one of the most uh, watched ads and one of the biggest buys in this campaign cycle, and it's the ad that you did for American Crossroads. Let's roll the tape. In the last few years, America's been knocked down. 23 million people can't find full-time work. And we borrow $4 billion every single day, much of it from China. When someone doesn't get the job done, you got to hold them accountable. Obama's second term would be a rerun of the first, and our country just couldn't survive that. We need someone who could turn it around fast, and that man is Mitt Romney. There's not much time left, and the future of our country is at stake. American Crossroads is responsible for the content of this advertising. You know, the thing that really grabbed me about that is, uh, you, don't, you don't have to do this. You're Clint Eastwood. You really feel, I, I kind of feel the same way, so I think I'm identifying with you. But I sensed in that ad, you really feel that the country we grew up in, the land of opportunity, is in jeopardy. Am I reading you right? When you, the reason you got involved in that, you didn't have to get involved in this. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I just felt uh, uh, one day, I tell you, um, I, I know some people who... Uh, who uh, we've sit around and we kept uh, complaining, but we never ever step up and do anything. And I finally know some friends, and I, I've got to give uh, 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 J J John Voigt uh, uh, a pat on the back because I was uh, s sitting with him and a couple other people. So we were commiserating about the situation with the economy and everything. And he says, he says, well, why doesn't anybody in Hollywood ever speak up? And uh, I thought, yeah, you know, he's right. He's right. We are kind of chicken. We're sitting around, you know, kind of going, well, let somebody else do it. And so then all of a sudden one day they asked me to be on the uh, RNC and go there. And they we said, well, what are you going to say? And I said, I don't know what I'm going to say. We'll just say it. And uh, so I'll just say something that I mean. And that's uh, that's all there was to it. And the, the chair idea, that just came out of the air. You know, I, I, I was sitting there and the guy behind the, sta the stage said, uh, here, you want to sit down? And I said, no, but why don't you take that out and sit it next to the podium? He says, oh, you want to sit down? I said, no, no, just put it there. <laughs> and that, so well, that idea just came out as we were doing it. So uh, it was probably, at the time, I thought, oh, this is, this, that was really stupid. Why did I do that? But then afterwards, I thought, you know, people started coming up and saying, well, that was fun. And maybe a, a little fun was what I was looking for. I don't know. You know, I've watched it, 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 it got a lot of people bugged at, at, at the uh, content. Oh, absolutely. Of it, I was in the room. Good I, too, because it, it, yeah. it, 
Yeah, well, that, that's that's good. That's if it insult, if it makes the the, the the right people angry, then good. That'll wake them up a little bit. Well, we really appreciate you being with us. Um, I've been a fan a long time. I'm glad you're outspoken. Um, I think you're making a difference. I think the idea that you tell people if somebody doesn't do a good job, it's okay to fire him. It's telling people that maybe believed Absolutely. in Barack Obama. He had four years, and we're not better off. So uh, thank you so much, uh, Clint Eastwood, for being on the program, and hope you'll come back again. My pleasure, Sean. And coming up next.